Hello, welcome to Connexit. In this video, I'm going to explain you how to use Google Sheet triggers on Google Form triggers in Connexit. Google integration, basically the Google Sheet trigger integration has been done using Google App Scripts, which is one of the leading use case with the Google. And uh, if you want to use Google Sheet triggers in Connexit, you have to enable the app scripts on your Google account. I have just logged in with my Google account and uh, go to script.google.com and you can enable your app scripts here. Please note that once you have enabled app script, it takes around 30 minutes for Google to actually enable it. Uh, once you have enabled the Google app script, uh, you can wait for a couple of minutes. Once Google has enabled it, you can go to your Connexit account authorize all the Google apps you need. Here I have enabled the Google Sheets. I have enabled the Google Sheets, Gmail and Google Form uh, after I enable the app script on script.google.com. Right away, I will go to Create Connects. I will drag and drop. I'll name this Connect Google Sheet your demo one. I have enabled the Google Sheet. I have authorized it on the apps page. I'll drag and drop the Google Sheet as a trigger. I'll choose the trigger as new row in a sheet. And now I have to choose the sheet for that. I will search the one of the demo sheet I have created and then I'll choose the sheet. Another thing you need to note here is you need to allow pop-ups on app.connectsite.com. You just have to go here, pop-ups and redirects, you need to allow them. If you haven't allowed this uh, on app.connectsite.com, then there is a triggering pop-up when we click on test and review, which will not happen and the Google Sheet triggers will not work. So make sure you enable app scripts here, the app scripts, Google app scripts need to be enabled here and also allow pop-ups on app.connexit.com. So I'll click on test and review after I selected my sheet. So I need to select the fields and I could choose under R and I'll click on proceed. So while this is happening, you will find a new pop-up on the screen where you need to configure your trigger in the app scripts, basically. So in this window, it will ask you to choose your account first. So I'll choose the account I have already signed up and click on add trigger. So this is a very important step uh, please note once you have uh, chosen your account, it will go to, uh, it would have already created a script and it will, it is required to add a trigger in the app script. I'll click on app, add trigger and I'll choose on change uh, from the spreadsheet and I'll choose the on event type as on change and I want this to be notified immediately. So notify me immediately is the notification settings and uh, I can, I'll click on save. So again, you need to allow this and I'll click on save again. So this will ask me to again, choose the account and uh, don't worry about this since this is your own web book uh, on you can go to go to you can save this option and click on allow. So please note that this app is actually getting created in your own account. So you can always authorize it. So once this trigger is created, I'm going to close this window and the Google Sheet trigger is ready for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick demo with my Gmail. I'll choose the 
send email action and I'm gonna test this Google sheet trigger demo to this email ID I'll pass my referral email in the body and click on test and preview So this would have sent me a test email. Let me just check if I have received it. Yeah, that test and review email is here. So I'm gonna publish this connect. Okay, it's published successfully. So this is the trigger. So I'm gonna do a quick demo here. I'm gonna this is the sheet where I have configured the triggers. So here you can check if at all you want to check what app scripts have been enabled. You can go to uh, extensions, the app script. This is only for you to check. So the, this sheet.js in your app scripts would have been added by Connexit with the web url to which this sheet has to send the data so now what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna paste this row again so when i do this google sheet would have triggered you can see a uh, log here from app scripts you can see this triggers you can even see the executions. So you can see that this was triggered when I added a new sheet and I would have received an email here. Here you see I have received a new email whenever I triggered it. So I'm gonna test this once again. I'm gonna add this row again. So every time I add a new row, this will trigger, you can see in the triggers, there is a trigger which is running here. This is, this you can see in executions. These are the triggers. This is the trigger. These are the executions. 